Hi, this is one of the videos in the series where I will uh, make some tests and reviews of the products that I got from Bleebox. Um, the product we will start is, it is the dimmer box. This is a product that a lot of people use. Uh, a lot of people start with uh, dimmers because they want to be able to control their lights from their uh, smartphones or based on time schedules. So let's go ahead and look at the product. Here we have the uh, dimmer. This is what it uh, looks like. Has some good explanations um, on the back side. Screws here. An opening for the wires here. Uh, it has its logo ingrated here. If I feel on, on the surface here, it looks, um, it seems quite uh, robust. Um, it's not, uh, it, it feels like one piece. It doesn't feel like anything is um, is loose or scrambling or, or anything. It um, looks quite good. Uh, so I can see that neutral here, lead wire here, out for our, um, our lamp or um, or whatever we we want to dim. Uh, I have the possibility to connect uh, one or two switches. Um, the uh, box itself, it was. Let me see if I can find the box for this one. The box uh, was this, so it is only the unit inside. It, it there's not room for for much else. Um, but a pretty pretty nice box um, the one I had here the uh, manual was not in the box but I believe that it will be that in uh, the end user products I'm not uh, quite sure if uh, that was because this was a, a marketing product for me or or how that works if I compare that to um, I have an old uh, Fibaro dimmer here Sorry, it's a little uh, scratchy, but uh, but as I told you, it's an it's an old one that has been in use. Uh, Fibaro has this uh, antenna, a plastic uh, surface here. Um, it has the connectors here and the screws here, and you have the explanations here. So if I compare that to the um, to the Blee box. can see that um, it's not that uh, that different uh, connecting wise size wise it's um, nearly nearly the same maybe the blee box is a little bit bigger because the connectors here or on the outside and the Fibaro they are on the inside uh, Fibaro has this antenna where you're connected to the hub um, this Fibaro use um, uses set wave, and this one uses the Wi-Fi. So let's try to connect the the Blee box in a outlet, and let's see what happens. We've now connected the dimmer box to the outlet, um, so we're now ready to set it up. As I've mentioned before, this is controlled by Wi-Fi, so you don't need a hub for for the Blee box. And we now see that in the uh, Wi-Fi list on um, on the iOS device, we now have a Wi-Fi called Dimmer Box with the serial number of the unit. We will connect to that and jump into the Wii Box app. In this app, we will see that it uh, will appear as the top one, my dimmer box. We'll try to click on that. Now it goes into the device. And here I press settings in uh, the corner. I'll jump into the uh, settings uh, of the device and I want to connect that to my uh, to my home Wi-Fi. Uh, so I will scroll down a bit, and here you can see all the available uh, Wi-Fi's. Remember that this device is only 
2.4 gigahertz so it needs to be um uh, to be a g network um and these are the only ones that i see here so once i find the wi-fi that i want to connect to i click on that and it tells me to enter my password for this wi-fi and once i have enabled that you can see that it changed the status to connecting And oh, yeah, you see now it's connected. It's got an uh, IP address for this network, so that should be okay. We now want to select if it's a dimmable uh, light bulb or a non dimmable light bulb. It's a dimmable we have, uh, so I want to select that. Uh, you can also select if you have one or two buttons um, on your connector, and you can select the minimum uh, dimmer. Uh, value here it sets to 20% now that's the minimum that it should be dimmed to then let's look at some of the other settings here we of course have the network settings we have the access point settings we have the possibility to create a schedule for this product we have the opportunity to change uh, time and time zone for the product we'll try to synchronize the time now because I can see it's a bit out of sync and we have the possibility to add a location, remote control, and we have um, an option for upgrading the firmware in here. So let's go back and have a look at the um, controls of the device. We have um, some options here. We have a meter here where you can set the, uh, the dimmer um, percent, uh, or you can shut it off. You see that the blue line here represents uh, the actual status of uh, of the product. You have uh, the possibility here to uh, to set different um, modes. You can set it to 100%. You can set it to 75%, to 50%, to 24%, or to oh, sorry, 25% or off. So let's have a look at the um, at the switches and um, the app while we see the uh, light bulb. Now we have the unit installed in the wall. Uh, I'll show you the connector here. If I tap it once, it will turn on. If I hold it down, it will dim to the level I want and I can release it again at that level. I can also tap again, it will shut off and turn on. It will turn on at 100%, uh, so it seems like there's uh, there's not a memory uh, function inside, at least I haven't found that yet. The app here, you can also see, is uh, quite responsive. The level here, the gray level I showed you before, I, I think that is pretty, pretty accurate, pretty live. Because it seems when I turn it up and down, it actually uh, that is the current status. So uh, so it works uh, works quite well. <clears throat> if I shut it off here. It will turn down, turn on. It turns on. <clears throat> it actually had some delay there. I didn't see uh, see that before. But I, I guess that is uh, that's okay. Because typically you you don't use these simultaneously as we do now, um, so uh, so that seems okay. Uh, to fit the product in here, it was quite uh, it was difficult as it is with all the units because they are quite uh, <laughs> quite big compared to the space in here. Um, it had a little disadvantage that uh, the size was square. As you know, other manufacturers make it uh, round up here because these boxes in here, they are typically uh, round. So um, so that was a little disadvantage, but, um, um, but it, it fitted in there at last. <clears throat> to get it to work, when I first powered it on, it, um, it nearly immediately uh, started to uh, broadcast this wireless network. 
that I had to connect to. You also had, um, if I disconnect the power here, turn the power back on, usually there goes some moments before it is available in the app again. Um, but um, uh, but it was there after some some seconds, so that was pretty good. So Bleebox done a quite good job in uh, in the startup of these products when it uh, comes to connecting power again. Um, so overall, it seems to be a, a very good product. Um, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more reviews and tests of the Bleebox uh, products.